Hello. Welcome back. Well, um, it's a big deal. Big deal today. I don't know what we're gonna do after this. I guess, um, we'll, you know, progress the story some. We'll hand in some of our parts to the golem. Um, I have to make a decision about what I want to bring to the golem. Like, what? Oh, we could do a bear. Nah, the bear's not gonna have hands, is it? Is this, uh, oh uh, yeah, that, that, this bug still exists where we have all of our stuff. That's fine. At least we're not over encumbered. That has been a problem in the past. If I have all my stuff, can I break into Bright Shoal? Where is Bright Shoal in relation to Cud, to Salum? Aloft of Gauss, Gauss a sight twinkling, and they're, they're the Seraph Dreamin, and Bright Shoal is the dream. Am I dead? Sad. The body dying, but the wind and the mind roaming. What is this place? Sad. Stunned and do at the high gate to Bright Shoal. Sad. Thine here's been wet with old life. Sad, shaking thine head and cross into new life. Is Reshef here? No, sad, Reshef residing here. No sad, Reshef residing here. Where is Rachel in relation to Cud? Uh, yeah. Why do you call me sad? Art thou a sad of old Selum? And now stunned and do at the high gate to Bright Shoal. Salem? Is that another name for Cud? Sad, yes. I've come from the thick world with a mission to disable the spindle's magnetic field. Can you do this for me? The cloths, the clothes shrouding a rainwater shomer's form are still for many moments. The shomeran Conan, why ought we? Um, <laughs> you impudent, impudent whelp. Sad Reshef stands before you. Do as I say. I don't know if I've ever done this one. I always feel bad about being mean to NPCs. Something changed atop the spindle. If Bright Shoal is indeed connected to the city there, then this change may suggest it's in peril. One year ago, someone began broadcasting a signal from atop the spindle. I have a recording of it here. I'm sure it's been, I'm sure it's very obvious to many people, but has it, have I ever, like, has it ever been explicitly mentioned that the thing atop the spindle could indeed be Reshef? Like, I feel like that's foreshadowed a lot. And it's like, you could say, well, but they'd be like thousands of years old. Yeah, and so is Barathrum, right? It's not like there aren't other many thousands of years old creatures roaming Cud. So it could just be Reshef uh, inviting people to the top of the spindle. Why? I have no idea, but I do wonder. I ask you, disable the magnetic field so that the spindle can be ascended and the signal investigated. I also wonder, did... Disabling the magnetic field actually have any effect? Like, would we have been able to scale it with the golem despite the magnetic field? The sheriff pre, uh, sprekin sad through askin and the shroman ascentin sad wiltest wilt thou return to Salem or cross and into bright shoal? If it can be done, return me to cud. I wish to ascend the spindle myself. Said, now then, return. I am ready. Good times. The matter of your new body starts to thicken and clot. You are inlaid with ribbons of bone, tissue, nerve, and flesh. We are parched. 
Time to take our very first sip. Our first sippy sip. Then Neoteric body is differently charged. Tying inside you is another of the secret knots that binds the world. You will gain an additional floating nearby slot. I might use the Leyline Puppeteers for that. And then that way I would gain an extra face slot. Because then we have Temporal Fugue in a different way. Drink from the vessel of the first sip. Yummy. Hmm. Something just occurred to me about that, actually. Uh, just a meta strategy, nothing of importance. I just noticed how easy it is to drink from that vessel. It'd be kind of nice if I could just make a vessel uh, or carry one around for the odd occasion that psychometry is needed to um, learn what everything is. Uh, so it, it might be viable to, to do something like that. It might be a lot quicker. Kessel face, clairvoyance, um, which one of these? Oh, that's discharge, power devices. I guess that's, no, that's not the one we want. We want the other one. Worn on back, rainbow weave, right arm, uh, lecture stained band, left arm, precinct navigator, right hand, copper plated boon, left hand, Whatever this thing is. Um, scoped linear cannon. Worn on hands. Refractive six fingered zeta chrome gloves. Hind feet. Zeta chrome pumps. Make tail our primary weapon. And in our other floating. Oh, could we, we could have two point defense drones. What an interesting idea. I wonder if that would actually gain us anything i mean it would offer us twice the um potential like twice the potential protection i guess i have to assume that has some kind of effect oh we have some gershlings just kind of hanging out out here oh these are new gershlings they create plasma Plasmatic Gershlings, huh? Do they offer us any XP? Doesn't look like it. I have to assume they are... Yeah, they're trivial. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Oh. Legendary Prism Perch. Oh, that's a fish. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. oh that was uh that was a very scary thing to discover. I do want to kill this uh Sferdim Eld. They are very good XP. 850 XP. Okay, um, are we lost? No, we're not lost. Let's go to, oh, ruins. Sure, we'll check out some ruins real quick. We have a memory eater and an enigmatic, uh, snail. Oh God, it's actually kind of a dicey space. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, this is almost too easy. We leveled up. Is that a kaleidoscopic cloak? I should check that out. 400 XP. Spartim are very good XP. I really like this linear cannon. It's seriously really nice. Might be my favorite weapon. Uh, uh, like, period. Oh, we are coated in plasma. There is a uh, plasma jelly to our east. Should be able to take him out, no problem. 
I think they count as a mollusk, not as a slime. Reef Hermit's Plasmon. Oh, we were getting attacked by the Hermit. So what do we got? Kaleidoceros uh, Cape. What does this do? Oh, man. Has a 2% chance to refract light-based attacks. Sending them... Oh, this thing's amazing. I am pretty sure that's better in every way than the uh, Rainbow Weave Cloak. Let's look at this. Yeah, it's only got a little bit of resistance. 50% chance to refract light, though. The thing is, though, is can we mod this? Yeah, we can. We can't mod it with refractive, though. Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer. Only a little bit, but it's a really nice cape. The thing offers a ridiculous amount of resistance. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of work here. I just want to uh, take advantage of some of this free XP. Now, you are, in theory, supposed to be able to power your golem via doing a Moonstair quest, but I don't know if that's a thing yet, and I also don't know if it's worth it. Carbide shield, sharpened poly... What do we have here? Praetorian's cloak. It's just a very nice cloak, 2DV. Uh, I kind of wanted to check out this ruin. We still have that memory eater. I value my memories quite a, quite a great deal, so. Eh, I'm kind of over it. Let's leave. What, uh, I wonder if our, our uh, shopkeeps are going to be restocked yes uh in that case i'm gonna do a quick pause here and do all of my shopkeeping i'll be right back okay i've looked through everything didn't really gain all that much in terms of value i did gain a couple of metamorphic polygels um which I might might be useful if I'm planning on doing that. Oh, I've been noticing this place has been lagging a little bit. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Uh, oh, I miss, I messed up my color arrangement. There we go. I do a little bit of clever Sokoban style shifting around just to make sure everyone's in the right spot. Okay. Um, so let's go to Great Gate. Uh, I think. That is the next logical thing to do. We'll get some experience points. I don't think we'll level up. I mean, we'll definitely not level up. We're, we're nowhere close to a level up, but we'll get some stuff. Let's talk to Barathrum. Ah, sorry about that. Well, I had to step away for a moment. Um, let's let's continue. Is that you, nestling at Nimishram? Are you returned from great, some, from gate and tomb? Come closer, I say. It is, Barathrum, I've returned. You appear refreshed, my old eyes spy the swim, swim lines of the waking world, and to you they code precedence. A newness obtains. Outside of time, I found myself in a place of light. I chose to return and was made anew. I am confident there is a richness of wisdom in the poetry of that statement. One day I will be eager to discover it. For now, what of the spindle? I found Brightshoal, where it lies beyond the tomb. I spoke to the Shomer there and uh, arranged for the disablement, uh, disablement of the spindle's magnets. You are ever a courier of bright tidings, Nimashram. I am fond of this fact. Categories and types are de decohering uh, in these historic times nonetheless the ritual nourishes us you are raised to maven nimashram the one who understands <clears throat> you are promoted to the rank of maven take this too a shoot a shoot of morph morphing gel for my personal collection you've arrayed yourself in the artifacts of time and so we have little left to give you but still this may be useful uh we've completed the quest brathermites are cool um, now matters have evolved in your absence. Do you choose now to learn more? 
I do. High on the mount above Almond Park, the Pewtis Templar watch us through their war lenses and prepare an attack. The Nephilim, too, stir from their cradles on the moon stair and slump with infernal purpose. The short of this is, due to a dearth of prep time and inadequate armament, Pax Clank no longer believes in the viability of Q Girl's climber design. We must take Clank at its word here. This disheartens us, but there is another hope. Clank has offered up a new design, something unconventional at all angles, and despite our early misgivings, Q Girl and I now work in assistance to the project. A new creature struggles to be born, Nimashram, and you will help birth it. Then it will carry us, you and I, to the top of the spindle. Pax Clank will mold the creature from raw bioelectrical materials. You must gather these entrails, the body as a model, the catalyst to charge, the sanguine f fluid, the atmos as deistic direction, the armament for protection, and the Hamza for personality. You will bond with the creature too, and act as its pilot, so you must speak an incantation to inscribe the connection. You will also need to procure the sanguine fluid itself, and to a power for source, shielded from electromagnetic attacks. These entrails, where, what are they? Where do I find them? They are the components that we will grow, shape, and solder into the ascendant being. We can delve into specifics once you begin, at which point Pax Clank can also serve as a source of knowledge. As you acquire components, bring them to the mound of scrap and clay over by Clank. I'm to pilot the creature and bond with it? Correct. The creature will be shaped broad enough to contain two, but only you will be bonded to it. Only you will pilot. Don't fear over an inescapable tether, though. The creature will be mobile, unpiloted. It's if slower to act. Let us begin, then. Yes, Nimishram, begin the gathering, and the molding will follow. The materials you choose will influence the being we create, but any such being will be suitable to for ascent. This is our last task before we make our historic climb, Nimishram. Be safe and well in doing it. If you have more questions, return here. Clank and I will be available. <clears throat> so here we go. The golem. We have begun its molding process. Uh, one thing I will do is I'm going to go ahead and drop right here a chest so that we can um, basically start dumping objects in there. <clears throat> we'll start with... Um, We'll start with the, the uh, Neutron Flux. We're going to need more of this, obviously. Um, three drams, I believe. We'll also drop the... I guess I could... Um, before... Hmm, let, me, let me have a look at it real quick. You have nothing that meets the requirements of the Ascension Power Source. What? You have nothing that meets the requirement of... The oh, I guess my, um, my Zeta Chrome weapon is at, uh, Eid Freehold. I have no body. I have a catalyst. <clears throat> Two golems. Each with one-third HP. What the heck? What a weird effect. Immune to slipping plus 60% heat damage dealt. Immune to slipping plus 500 skill points. Burgeoning at level 5. Uh, I need more liquids. Maybe lava would be nice. Um, incantation. Yeah, we have tons of options for incantations. Plus 6 attribute points sounds okay. Move speed sounds very, like, appropriate. Um, seeing as this whole run has been extra move. I'm not really sure what kind of, um, what kind of body I should give it. Move speed spawns with four random pieces of gigantic mid to high tier armor. That's not bad, actually. We also have to go to the bottom of asphalt mines. Um, we could do that now. That's, that could be our fun little extra activity for now. Um, let's go to the six day stilt. Also, I'm going to hand in the rest of my books, which I failed to do. <clears throat> Tab, select all, accept. It's a, just a tiny bit of XP. I mean, 7,000 is not nothing. 
uh, what I should do is um, check real quick my Icker Merchant, see if they've got any more of that good, good Neutron Flux. They do not. They don't, don't. Okay. Uh, I really need to find a legendary Icker Merchant. It's, it's becoming a, like, a necessity. I suppose I could, um, I don't, I really don't want to clone this Icker Merchant. I, re I don't think that that would be worth it. Um, I'm just wondering what all of these markers I have turned on right now are. Oh yeah, stops failing. <clears throat> um, those are historic sites. I'll turn off the ones I've visited. There's only really one I haven't been to. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that's the that's the Moonstair one. So it looks like there's two in the Moonstair. I, I seem to have traded pretty much all of the rest of those. So we have Gersh Bethsaida. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna turn off Mad Poles. Uh, the time for that is done. I don't think I'll be visiting a Borokoru. The, the novelty is kind of lost on that a little bit. I'd like to stay friends with the uh, the apes also. We visited the Sultan Croc. We visited the Bloated Leech. We visited uh, the legendary giant beetle and this albino ape and this Naftali forager. We did not visit the legendary sawhander. And we could. Um, that's actually not a bad idea. Full Creek Catapult. Huh. Legendary Goat. That sounds worth it, too. Legendary Dragonfly. We could check that out. Another Legendary Dragonfly. We should do some of this stuff. Okay. Um, that's all fine. Merchants. We have one for a Shoemaker, which we haven't done. Why would we do it? Well, the reason being is that... Um, I want to get some more merchant rep and also they all tend to well I always thought that the secrets they gave you were locations of other merchants but it doesn't seem to be true anymore oh yeah there was a gigantic nano jackhammer legend dervish oh yeah that place was a nightmare I don't think I want to do that I think all of this is done all those named locations there's some flaming tar pits apparently we haven't been to. We'll check that out. Rust, we've been to all of our rust bogs. These are all secrets that I've been kind of accumulating and some of them I haven't been to. So it's a good idea to kind of roll through these. We could visit all of these ruins. Like there's a ton of ruins here that I haven't been to, but is it worth it? I don't know. I'm sure at some point it is. Ooh. Oh, that's just a homestead. If there was a, um, if I knew of a village that I haven't been to, I would go there immediately. Just FYI. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. So, um, there's a bunch of stuff to do to the east. Um, well, let's go to the asphalt mines for now. We need to go to the very base and uh, visit our our good friend, the uh, the crab. We haven't done this yet. In case you're curious, I really like the linear cannon, but the one thing that bothers me about it is that I can accidentally reload twice and then it gives me that prompt, which is good. It's a good prompt, but the fact that it has two different ammo sources is a little bit of a bummer. I will not be making um, my golem a crab. I feel like the most appropriate thing would be to make it a bear considering how friendly with bears I have been. I believe... Oh, psychic presence, huh? They are not going to allow me to return. 
I don't see them. Let's do clairvoyance. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I did ask for specifically that, didn't I? <clears throat> I have never seen that before. That is insane. Vision radius whole map. Clairvoyance reveals the entire map now. Good God. That is amazing. That is so good. And I see our dimensional... They are a dimensional being now. Uh, I would like to sunder their mind. Ooh, that's some really nice extra damage there. Ah, oh, you know, if we could dismember them, an extra dim dimensional part would be pretty interesting. We are dealing some really nice damage to them. We do have the chance, poten potential to be stunned here, but I don't want to. All right, that's good. I am so happy. Clairvoyance is amazing. How long is the cooldown? Like, how long does it last? 36 rounds. It lasts for 36 rounds. Incredible. I, I have never known clairvoyance at such a power level before. That is incredible. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really dumbfounded by that. Um, I believe that uh, extra dimensional beings have a better chance of uh, providing a permanent ego when you kill them. I think there it's like a slight upgrade, but I might be wrong about that. I honestly, we're, we're, uh, we're at 25 strata. I think we have to go to 30. I thought it was only 25 though. I was very certain it was 25. They should be over here. It looks like they're not. I don't think five strata is deep enough to make a, like justify making another spiral bore, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Do we still have nano? No, we don't. Um, what do we have equipped right now? Oh yeah, our stinger. That's good. I could make another... I may as well make another spiral bore. Why not? So I'm just gonna go over here. We'll make a spiral bore. I'm not really, like, feeling up to messing around with... Um... You know, the asphalt mines. Eh. They can be a pain in the butt. Vast and um, vast mine. Okay, so we get clairvoyance. That's the whole screen. I, I just I'm not, I, I can't get over that. We do have some lava crabs, but they're pretty slow as I recall. Um, let's actually put Thunder Mind on the screen. We'll replace charge, and I think I might come up with a. Uh, a quick button for charge because it tends to be on a lot of my runs but i'll put sundermine on there and i want to sundermine that lad there boop doop 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 i think he has a mental mirror he seemed to reflect a bit of that damage um Oh, right. We can't fire through walls. We can only see through walls. I don't really want to fight lava crabs. Okay, this that's the servant of Toe dead. Um, our, we're not on good terms with this Unimax. Uh, I really do need parts, don't I? I need, I need body parts. Unicorn parts would be kind of fun. 
but like you know then you know not the body just the part right i what have i already fully upgraded or fully modified my um linear cannon i think i probably have yeah i have jacked scoped masterwork i should have uh, saved for nanon Don't mind me, just killing unicorns. You know you're a good guy when you're killing un unicorns, you know? Wow, they have a lot of health. They give me 900 XP, so, you know, that's pretty good. I really don't want to fight lava crabs. Not at any level. Ow. Oh, they poisoned me. They poisoned me real good, actually. Okay, uh, this is starting to scare me a little bit, so I'm gonna go over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat a herbary. Um, let's take a salve. Yeah, I, I am actually, like... I, I'm, I'm not gonna play her. I have 58 selves. There's a hundred percent like no excuse Let's go downstairs. Oh god damn This is another good reason why I uh, Like the spiral bore is because it avoids the whole situation that very commonly occurs in the uh, oh god, okay um, Let's not do that So let me, let me just, just check this one, strat, 30 strata. There's a, there's our friend. There's a lot of lava crabs here. We might have to do a little bit of cleanup. Or just kite them away. We've got an absurd amount of uh, movement speed, so like we're fine. And also linear cannon pens them like very consistently why don't we just uh i don't feel confident in um doing temporal fugue so i'm just gonna walk over here i just need to make sure i don't get backed into a corner these guys have a lot of health also Hmm. It's a lot of crabs. Let's just do force bubble for now. Ah, let's let's do temporal fugue. All oh, right, sunder mind. That's actually going to be amazing because they are potentially going to do some really good damage to all those crabs. Uh, a lot of my clones turned into shale. I don't I don't play around with magma crabs. They scare me. It's not that they're like once you figure out a few things about them, they're actually totally easy. But I don't like to don't don't fight them at melee is basically it. It's like uh, Krakens. They're, they're very much like Krakens, actually. All right, I'm not seeing any more. Let's do a clairvoyance. We've got a few more, actually. They're across that lava lake. Let's do a Sunder Mine on that one. They're very easy to Sunder Mine, actually. <laughs> like really easy um uh, that astral tabby is i don't think they can hurt me oh no oh we're not on good terms with uh 
Oh, that's bad, actually. Uh... Our shopkeep is in some kind of conflict. That is lava to my east. I just, I just want to get our force bubble on. Oh no, please don't die. Also, that was a hundred damage. I just want to deal with that last uh, magma grab. I'm getting, I'm getting that feeling. Okay, we put on our uh, force bubble. Okay, cool. Um, the fact that that, what are they anyway? I think that that is actually a, like a Goliath creature. Temple Mech, Mecha Mark 1B and Hired Guard. They're currently hostile, low power, lightly damaged. I feel like they have the potential to do a lot of damage to me. I just want to be on okay terms with our shopkeep. I don't really care about anything else. Um, I think we're okay. There's no more crabs on the screen. I mean, I could just kill... What's his face? I don't know if I can, like, uh, sunder mind. I don't think I can sunder mine this because it's a robot. I could sun sunder mine Hamel Crab. And they are wounded. So, I, yeah, I don't think it really... It would really matter too much. But also, I don't want to have to fight whatever the heck that thing is. It scares me. So this is what I'm going to do real quick. Is I'm going to go ahead and recoil back to the 6 day stilt. Real quick. Oh, can't. Can't do it with hostiles nearby. Alright, hold on. Uh, force bubble on. And then recoil back to the six day stilt. Cool. Turn our force bubble on. Then we are going to go back. And a, a couple, hopefully, like a day will pass. Um, Hamel Crab is not naturally hostile, I don't think. So we're just going to do it this way and we're going to hope that he's okay by the time we get back down. I don't mind robbing Hamel Crab, but I don't like that hired guard of his. That looks extremely dangerous to me. The fact that they did like a hundred damage to accidentally to Hamel Crab is... It doesn't bode well. Okay, let's check. Okay, they're cool this now. Nice. Even the Goliath. Whatever it is, the mecha. It looks Goliath-y to me. Is cool with us. Alright, Rokus... Uh, Crocus. So what do we want? First of all, I think I'd like a crystal coronet. Gigantic crystal coronet. Uh, nano -E vest seems like a good idea. They, they have a lot of hats. Too many hats, in fact. Gigantic weird artifact. Honestly, uh, killing, uh, killing Hamel Crab would not have been the worst idea ever. Gigantic handrail. Gigantic high voltage arc winder. Um... Gigantic High Voltage Arc Winder is a very good find. We're looking at 10,000 drams right now. I don't think I have any anywhere near that much. I mean, I might. Who knows? Let me just see how much I've got. Spacer Rifle. Well, that's 4,000 right there.
just throw in all of our trade goods. I could do the old uh, make him my friend and then steal all, all of his stuff routine, but seems pretty cheaty to me. I don't want to get rid of our metamorphic polygel. I think what we ought to do is actually go back to eat freehold for a moment. And, um, oh, actually, I, don't, I didn't intend to walk away. I just want to um, loot our box. This is our box of trade goods. Like, we could trade... Go, he's right next to lava. We could go ahead and trade him a gyrocopter full of lava, for one thing. Um, this Zetachrome Battle Axe, I think, is a good... You know, this is a good time to trade something like that. All of these Eigen Rifles. Light Rail. Uh, we are almost fully encumbered now. Uh, tread Guard. Data Disc, we're not going to use that. I don't even think we're going to use a Tri Hologram Bracelet. It's probably worth something. I think we're done with the logical Earther Perdaboom. So we can trade that. So that's a good amount of stuff. So let's go ahead and recoil back. No. I, I thought I pressed it right, and I did. And I pressed it again correctly, and I still didn't... It still didn't give me the prompt. Um, all right. So again, we're going to travel down to the bottom of the asphalt mines. This is a, a lot of times I'm traveling down the, to the asphalt mines. Come at me, Snapjaw. Please. Test my patience. I a double dog dare you. When did our AV become 19? I don't remember that. I feel like there's only a couple of things that in Zetachrome that would be good. You know, it's funny. I, I've talked so in so many series about getting Zetachrome, and I really did make a big deal about the fact that we now have the ability to get like Zetachrome, whatever we want. Um, but you know, we do, and it is a big deal. So many, so many things in so many previous runs that I've like talked about trying to achieve. And this run has just been the culmination of all of those things coming together. All right, Hamel Crab. First of all, give me that. Kind of want this gigantic gas mask also. Take, I'll take your vest. Take your gigantic born nerd. I, I want this, whatever it is. Um, I do want the handrail and the high voltage. Uh, I think I'm gonna trade this even though What is this? Oh, that's electrical generation. I guess I am using the the my club for electrical generation I don't feel good about trading this. I mean, I know I could get always get it back. I'll, I'll trade the oh uh, We shouldn't be doing this. I should be uh, First of all, let's Go to artifacts No, is it armor? Yeah, Gyrocoscope, uh, gyrocopter backpack. Uh, we pour into another container. We may as well keep the oil. 60 drams. And then go ahead. No, I don't want to. I've been having this problem where I press the button and it doesn't do it properly. Uh, I thought that I could. What do you mean I only put collect one dram? What do you mean? I thought you could collect it with the gyrocopter backpack. One hundred and twenty-eight drams. Yeah. Okay. Weird. You're carrying too much. Right. There is always that part, isn't there? Um. I could try. I, I think I can throw it. Can I throw it? You think? Yeah, throw it. <laughs> throw it like 
Oh, I could accidentally throw it at this mech thing here. Just throw it over there. Um, <laughs> this is really funny. P. Gyrocoptic. Okay, throw it. I'd like to throw it like all the way to the shop, but I might accidentally hit them. I, my accuracy is not great with this thing, right? Okay, grab that. We're just gonna, we're gonna place it down carefully. Get. Uh, drop. This is how you, <clears throat> this is how you drag something, by the way. If, just in case you're, you you were ever curious, this is how you drag. Uh, if you ever want to try and sell a Kraken body, for instance, this is how you would do it. Get. And then um, what we'll do, we'll throw it from here. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, and I'm going to throw it like there. Perfect. Now we're going to grab it. And now I'm going to sell it to Hamel Crab. All right, this is the last time I have to go through all of this. Burn noose, gigantic weird artifact, handrail, high voltage. We could buy the di thermo as well, but I, I don't think it's really worth it. Okay, so this is 5,600 drams of water right there. Like immediately, that's quite good. Also, I guess I could have sold this um, point defense drone. I played with the idea of using it, but we don't actually, there's not really much reason to do that. We'll sell that Zeta Chrome battle axe. We'll sell this thing. It's important, I know. I know, it is important, I'm sorry. And we're already over. I, I didn't even realize we don't have to sell this actually. We're already like way over. In fact, I'm gonna have to tone back a bit. We'll keep our crystal dagger. I guess I could buy this gigantic credit wedge. It weighs four, which is better than this uh let's see two. i really should uh, go through these and put them all in my tum in, in the tumbler saw this file of lava um do we have enough money you don't have 300 yeah okay we'll sell one eigen rifle oh now that's too much we'll sell our uh flamethrower we need to sell one more thing. All right, fine. We'll sell the sniper rifle. It's fine. We have a better one now. Yes. We got it down to 12 drams. That's pretty good. Now, we're very over-encumbered right now, but we're going to go and recoil. Oh, I should have put a made a recoiler, like a programmable recoiler next to the chest. Let me go do that real quick. I'll go and make a... Oh, I'm still carrying too much? What else are we carrying? Something in miscellaneous. Oh yeah, gigantic handrail. Gigantic high voltage. Are we good now? No, we're still not good. Something in artifacts. Gigantic... Weird. What is this, anyway? Plastifer chem vest. Plastifer chem vest. That seems interesting, actually. 100% reduction in the energy cost to apply an injector. Uh, strange. All right, we'll go down and um, make a programmable recoiler like right next to the chest and the golem. This will help um, for the future. It, it just will, trust. Um, programmable recoiler. Bam. And... Um, we need a lot of power to like imprint it. Tools, programmable recoiler, uh, install. We'll just put an antimatter. Well, let's put a nuclear cell in it. Imprint. 
And then finally, uh, I want to mod it to be slender. Rathrum study, we'll go ahead and mod it with slender. I guess you can make it willowy as well. Why not make it completely free and then replace the cell? We need to make another solar cell. I'm out of, I'm out of solar cells. And I also need to make that solar cell uh, high capacity. High capacity and radio powered. There we go. These are these are things I, I, I'm i used to the good things, you know? I, I like the good things. Where is that? Where Where is the grit gate recoiler I just made? Hmm. It seems to have disappeared on me. It's like a barathrum. Here, I'll just... Tools, there it is. Oh, it's because it's now got slender and willowy in front of it. Um, replace cell with a high-capacity radio-powered solar cell. I guess it's not going to have any power, but it should get some power pretty quickly because of the radio-powered. In fact, is that, was that enough? No, I'll, I'll wait like 800 turns. Should, should be enough. Wow, was that 800 turns already? That, that was pretty quick. Oh, still very low. Or is it because I, be, is it because I, I'm now hungry? Uh, and we'll end the episode here. It's it's been kind of a long one. I've been trying to you know get a, a few things done. Um, we have all of the equipment we can get basically, unless we find some more gigantic goods out there. Um, and uh, we're starting to build a golem. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.